Hello everyone and welcome to Sinful Gaming. I hope you're all doing well, I hope you're all staying safe and most of all I hope you're all fighting that war against the grey. Today's video we're going to start by painting this Law Seeker from the Lumineth Realm Lords and we're going to do a Winter Elf scheme on our Lumineth Realm Lords. So I thought this would be a really fun model to go through all the different stages of painting our Lumineth Realm Lords, our Winter Elves up. Uh, you could use this scheme for any sort of elf, any army really. Uh, we're going to go through all the different types and things that we use throughout this. And today's video, we're going to look at the metal that we're going to use, the armor. So we're going to paint the armor up in a nice winter theme today. So let's get cracking on into it. We've already base coated the model with Wraithbone Spray from Citadel uh, from Games Workshop. And so let's get cracking on. We'll post up all the paint needed to do this little painting video. In today's painting video, we're going to need a lead belcher from Citadel or Games Workshop, Coelia Greenshade from Citadel as well, Ironbreaker from Citadel, and Necron Compound from Citadel Paints. Citadel Paints is the Games Workshop line of paints. You can get them from Games Workshop stores, Games Workshop Online, or from any local hobby store stocking Games Workshop products. Hello everyone and welcome to Sinful Gaming. I hope you're all doing well, I hope you're all staying safe and most of all, I hope you're all fighting that war against the grey. Today's video, we're going to start by painting this Law Seeker from the Lumineth Realm Lords and we're going to do a Winter Elf scheme on our Lumineth Realm Lords. So I thought this would be a really fun model to go through all the different stages of painting our Lumineth Realm Lords, our Winter Elves up. Uh, you could use this scheme for any sort of elf, any army really. Uh, we're going to go through all the different types and things that we use throughout this. And today's video, we're going to look at the metal that we're going to use, the armor. So we're going to paint the armor up in a nice winter theme today. So let's get cracking on into it. We've already base coated the model with Wraithbone Spray from Citadel uh, from Games Workshop. And so let's get cracking on. We'll post up all the paint needed to do this little painting video. And so first things first, we need to get some paint out. I've got my wet palette here. If you don't have a wet palette, you will need to generally add a tiny bit of water uh, to most paints, especially if you're using things like Citadel, which we're going to use Lead Belcher from Citadel to begin with as our base coat. Um, so wet palettes, what they're great for is they are wet. Uh, so they're going to provide a little bit of extra sort of uh, water to your paint so it generally means you don't have to uh, spend too much time adding some water to your paint the palette should generally do that yourself now a key tip is to have an old brush handy especially with these GW paint pots pull out your paint with an old brush put it on your palette clean your old brush off uh, making sure you have a separate water pot if you are painting metallics and colors together um, and then just generally get your better brush which in this case I've got a broken toad um, when we can get the logo up, we've got a Broken Toad Funzai Series Mark III. Um, I really like these, they've got a nice weight to them, the brush. But in general, uh, what you want to do is you then want to start applying this to all the parts that you want to be metal. Uh, so just start getting this first coat over all the bits that you want to be armor and metal. Like so, so you want to get all these bits all nice and armor and all nice and done. Um, and get all your armor done you may need to apply it to thin coats and so there we have it all of the uh, metal has been painted in with a nice solid couple of layers of lead belt you thinly applied so we've got two nice layers on there giving us a nice base to start with uh, now that we've got the base coat down it's time to apply a wash and for the wash we're going to choose to use Coelia Green Shade by Citadel or Games Workshop once again. Uh, it's going to provide a nice green sort of tint that's going to go nicely with the rest of the colors we're going to use across the models. And so now that we've got our layer dry, you want to make sure that your base coats are dry when doing this next step. So washes, what exactly are that? Well, you can see from the wash here, it is effectively like water, colored water. It is very, uh, I guess wet paint it's very high pigment very lots of water in it um i don't know the technical term but yeah it's sort of like it's a wash it is what it says to do so you can get it on your brush make sure you've not got too much you don't want to get control you generally don't want to use a wet palette for washes this will cause them to thin and cause the effect that they're going to do to uh not be as strong but if that's something you wish to to not do it as quite a strong color um, but in general, you then just slop this all over the parts that you want to be tinted and shaded with this color. So we're just going to put a ton of this all over the metal areas that we've just base coated. 
Um, just making sure you don't get any pooling. You can see I've had these little bits here pooling. Um, and you can pull them away. You want to make sure it sets in all the recesses. Anything that sort of comes out and starts recessing too much, you want to sort of avoid. So you want to avoid something, say, let's have a look. Let's try and do it. You can see we've got like a bit of pooling here now. You just get your brush and just take that away. And then you just push it around the areas where you want it. And so now that our wash has all dried, you can see the effect that it's had on the miniature, really given both a lot of depth and also that nice greenish tint to our metal. Now the next color we're going to be using is going to be Iron Breaker from Citadel once again, uh, Games Workshop's paints. Uh, so what we're gonna do this is we're gonna do what's called a layer. So on the miniature here, uh, we are going to effectively find all these higher parts of the model of the armor and just pick them out with the paint and bring back up some of that color. So you can see here, we're just gonna put this onto the more raised areas of the armor, stuff like here as well, leaving all the recess shading and all of that uh, so that we get a nice transition from the very deep recess shades uh, to the washed color to the now new much cleaner metal color that is going to be provided with the iron breaker you might need to apply a couple of layers of this to get a nice finish to it but shouldn't need it all over the model and you see now how that's just brought the color back up to a nice shiny uh metal silver whatever you want to call it um, just giving us that extra little bit of definition to the model. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to do a highlight. Now, there is a really simple way you can do this, uh, especially for beginners. You can get these Citadel dry paints. These are purpose-made for dry brushing. This one is Necron Compound. It's just going to be a real easy application over the top of this just to give us a real little pip of real shiny metal on the top. And so you can see this paint is really dry on the middle. I've got a terrible old brush here that we're gonna to use to get some of this out of the pot. Um, now, for this, you definitely don't wanna use your wet palette once again. You wanna get a bit of it on your palette. Um, I have a piece of just regular old um, tile here, which is gonna serve as a great place to use as our palette for that. Once again, using an older, terrible brush, and then I'm gonna bring in my dry brush, or what I use for my dry brush, which is actually one of the Citadel base brushes, and you just wanna rub the paint into the bristles like so, getting as much of it as you can, making sure you're not getting too much, and then just sort of making sure you can get your effect that you want with it. And finally, you're gonna pick up your model, and you're just gonna go in a circular fashion, like this over the miniature, just to pick out all those highest details. You don't wanna to do too much of it, and this is going to give that final little shine to the miniature. And there we have it. Our armor of this uh, Lumineth Realm Lord, our winter themed elves is all done. You can see we've got the nice undertones of green there on the metals, um, as well as that nice little pip from that last little dry brush, which really does just bring out absolutely everything. Um, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. This is our very first painting video. So, um, we're looking to always improve them. Should get better and better at this as we go through. Um, but we'll be following along painting this Lumineth Realm Lords uh, Law Seeker through the rest of the miniature in this scheme that we've got planned. And so that is the end of the video. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and drop a comment down below and let us know what you enjoyed about the video. If you'd like to come chat more with me and other members of our little community here at Sinful Gaming, we've got a link to our Discord server down in the video's description. And if you'd like to help support the channel in another way, you can do so either by joining Patreon or YouTube members or purchasing something from our Kofi web store. All of them are linked in the video's description. Thank you all for everyone who chooses to help support the channel. As a special thank you to those people who have supported via Patreon and YouTube members, we'd like to give a special shout out to them all.
So a shout out to our Patreons, Christian Weir, James Soren, Greenskins Gaming, AJC, Kenny Lowe, Aller and Shop First, Andrew Bowen, Nathan Fee, The Rising Ape, Cure Dynamic, Agu, Anthony B, Anton Nielsen, JJ Austrian, Average Wargamer, Domir, Mark Harvey, James Cater, Dinah226, Derek, and GRP390. A special thank you to our YouTube members, Green Roots Gaming, Kenton Young, Chris Wallace, Ronya, Vinny, Lock Lorik, The Johnny 84, David Ellsworth, Revenar, Wolfric Nick, Broken Chef, Ariana Edwards, Sean Scott, Pink Nico Fire, and Robin Mankiller as well. Lastly, a special shout out, first of all, to Lady Witchfox Art, who does all the amazing artwork for the channel you see, and to X Morphic, who has done an amazing job at setting up our Discord server for her and making us have a nice place to content and to chat with all of our community. Thank you all for watching. Once again, everyone, stay safe, stay well, and most of all, keep fighting that war against the great. Ciao for now.